गैस लॉस फ्रॉम काइनेटिक गैस इक्वेशन बिफोर वी यू नो मूव टुवर्ड्स डेरिवेशन ऑफ गैस लॉस लेट अस हैव अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टेंपरेचर एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी ओके रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन है टेंपरेचर एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी ओके सो वी नो पी वी इज इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री एम एन सी बार स्क्वेर ओके सो पी वी इज इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री एम एन सी बार स्क्वेर सो लेटस राइट टू बाई थ्री इंटू हाफ टू टू गेटिंग कैंसल रिमेनिंग दैट वन बाई थ्री सो देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम टू बाई थ्री इंटू हाफ एम एन सी बार स्क्वेर राइट मास ऑफ वन मोलिक्यूल इंटू आभोगाड्रो नंबर दैट इज द मोलिकुलर मास मास ऑफ वन मोलिक्यूल इंटू आभोगाड्रो नंबर मोलिकुलर मास और ग्राम मोलिकुलर मास ओके सो we will write for m into n this capital m so this will give you 2 by 3 into half m into n means m m into n means capital m c bar square this is nothing but half m v square or half m c square nothing but the kinetic energy so this is 2 by 3 into k And for one mole of gas, this PV is nothing but RT. This PV is nothing but RT. So now we can write kinetic energy is equal to two by three comes here becomes three by two RT. This is the relationship between kinetic energy and temperature. And from this relationship, we find higher is the temperature, higher is the kinetic energy. That means kinetic energy is directly proportional to the temperature. So now we will move to uh, the derivation of gas law. So the first one will be eh, Boyle's law. Let me change uh, the color of the marker. So, as you know, in Boyle's law, we have to prove that pressure is inversely proportional to volume. what we will have to prove pressure is inversely proportional to volume at constant temperature we have to prove this we have to derive this equation from kinetic gas equation derivation of gas laws from from uh, kinetic gas equation derivation of gas laws from kinetic gas equation now we will move to derivation we know pv is equal to 1 by 3 mn c bar square as we did in the previous case we will write 2 by 3 into half remaining that 1 by 3 m into n is m we know that m into since m into n is equal to capital m gram molecular mass c c bar square and this is nothing but the kinetic energy and as we know kinetic energy is directly proportional to temperature we can write ke is equal to a constant k dash into t right so now put this in in place of ke we can write k dash t 
so so we can write pv is equal to 2 by 3 in place of ke we will write k dst right so 2 by 3 k dst now at constant temperature at constant temperature the right side is it's a constant it's constant so whole of the right side is a constant at constant temperature pv is equal to constant pv is equal to constant if pv is equal to constant means p is inversely proportional to v that is nothing but the boyle's law so we we derive the boyle's law from uh, what from uh, you know kinetic gas equation right so similarly you can derive the charles law and gay lussac's law in in this similar fashion we will now move to uh, boyle's law charles law avogadro's law then we'll move to uh, uh, yes avogadro law we'll now derive the avogadro law The second one is Avogadro's law. We have to prove here V directly proportional to N or simply V1 by N1 is equal to V2 by N2 or equal volume of all gases under similar temperature or pressure condition temperature and pressure similar under similar temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules in them if volume is equal under similar temperature and pressure equal number of molecules will be there this was the Avogadro's law we have to prove that Avogadro law from kinetic gas equation so we have PV is equal to hmm, PV is equal to 1 by 3 MN C bar square MN C bar square now what we can do now PV is equal to 1 by 3 MN C square ok we will write P1 V1 is equal to 1 by 3 M1 N1 C1 bar square. We can write this. Okay. So similarly, we can write P2 V2 is equal to 1 by 3 M1 N1 C2 bar. Sorry, 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 sorry. M2 N2 C2 bar square. Now we have say we have two v1 v2 n1 n2 okay so now we will keep this n1 and n2 unchanged now let us multiply m1 with c1 m2 with c2 mass into velocity there we are making molecular mass into velocity here mass of one molecule into velocity so we can write n1 n2 Take out this N1 to the first. So we are getting N, uh, N1 1 by 3 or we can write when we are uh, taking out this N1 to the left. So we are getting uh, for this 1 by 3 we can write 2 by 3 into half M1 C1 square. Similarly here you can write N2 into 2 by 3 into half m2 c2 bar square right so it can be written like this is equal to eh, is equal to this is the kinetic energy ke1 n1 into 2 by 3 ke1 kinetic energy this can be written n2 into 2 by 3 hmm. k2 this is the kinetic energy of second kinetic energy of first okay 
so n2 2y3 k2 okay we have considered in Avogadro's law in Avogadro's law temperature is similar or not only temperature temperature and pressure are similar means volumes is also similar volume is also similar if temperature and pressure are similar then volume is also similar then if v1 is equal to v2 p1 is equal to p2 and t1 is equal to t2 that is p1 is equal to p2 v1 is equal to v2 t1 is equal to t2 if p1 is equal to p2 v1 is equal to v2 that means that means what that means p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 and again if temperature is similar kinetic energy 1 and kinetic energy is also are also equal so now implies p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 and kinetic energy 1 is equal to kinetic energy 2 see left hand side p1 v1 and p2 v2 are equal right hand side k1 k2 2 by 3 2 by 3 are equal that means if v1 is equal to v2 then implies n1 is also equal to n2 if volumes are equal equal number of molecules are present if v1 is equal to v2 and n1 is equal to n2 that means v directly proportional to n so implies so implies v directly proportional to n Avogadro law explained or derived from the kinetic gas equation did you get me so this is the proof of uh, you know uh, what uh, your uh, Avogadro's law from the uh, kinetic gas equation now we'll move to uh, proof of proof of you know uh, Graham's law of diffusion from kinetic gas equation So next derivation of Gram's law of diffusion from kinetic gas equation. What was the, uh, you know uh, Gram's law of diffusion? So that was A rate of density a rate of diffusion that was a rate of diffusion okay a rate of diffusion of any gas say write it r is inversely proportional to the square root of density right so r directly proportional to uh, uh, sorry r inversely proportional to the square root of density pressure uh, temperature remaining the same so that was the law was uh, the rate of diffusion of any gas is inversely proportional to the square root of the density so we can prove that like this so you have pv is equal to 1 by 3 m n c bar square now you can write see m into n is nothing but the capital m so pv is equal to 1 by 3 into m into n is equal to capital M c bar square so bring this volume here so you can write p is equal to 1 by 3 m by v c bar square right so okay so implies hmm. 
this m by v is nothing but the density 1 by 3 d c bar square so implies you can write c bar square is equal to 3p by d 3p by d 3p by d implies now we have c bar is equal to 3p by d root over right so implies c bar is equal to 3p root over into 1 by d root over but we have considered pressure is a constant so under under similar temperature and pressure this is a constant so if pressure is constant if pressure is constant then we can write c bar is equal to constant into 1 by d root over constant into 1 by d root over so that proves us what that proves us this one velocity of the gas is nothing but rate of diffusion how faster a gas moves from one point to another so this velocity may be root mean square velocity whatever we will see what are average velocity root mean square velocity most probable velocity they are different thing but it's a velocity velocity of a gas means rate of diffusion of a gas per second so uh, from this we get what do we, what do we get c bar or this is nothing but rate of diffusion that is inversely proportional to the square root of density thus uh, you know uh, the uh, uh, Gram's law of diffusion is proved so similarly this class is now ended thank you so much so much we'll discuss in the next class